Hi there! It is June 1st, which means it is officially Pride Month. Pride Month is like Christmas season for the gays, but you don't have to mix your alcohol with eggnog, so I can see why straight people want to take part in the festivities. If you're straight, cisgender, and watching this, then the LGBTQAI plus friend or supportive ally friend who shared this video, they just want to make sure that you understand some things before you consider attending Pride. And if you're a member of the LGBTQAI plus community watching this, then it's just a little refresher of all the things you want your straight cis friends to know about Pride, but instead of having to take the time to tell them, you can just send them this video. Because this is your month, and you deserve to spend all of your time this month celebrating you. So straight cis friends, allies, family members, listen up and feel free to take notes. First things first, although Pride isn't for you, it doesn't mean that cis people can't go and show your support, but it is important that support is genuine. If allies weren't allowed to take part in Pride, then a mom couldn't take her recently out 13 year old gay son to a parade, or a straight cisgender woman couldn't celebrate Pride with her transgender husband. And any bisexual person who is dating someone straight wouldn't be able to have their partner there with them. Attending Pride is like attending someone's birthday party. Know how to decenter yourself. The party isn't for you, it's to celebrate someone who you support and love. You show them support by singing happy birthday to them, not by blowing out the candles on their cake. Number two, understand the meaning of pride and its history. Pride's now evolved to mean a number of things for the LGBTQAI plus community. It's this one special celebration where we get to celebrate our diversity and all come together and we get to be the majority for once in a large public space. It's not only an empowering event, but it's also a reminder that while we can sometimes feel alone, the LGBTQA plus community is great in numbers and we show up to support. Also a time where just like 50 years ago, we march not only for tolerance, but for acceptance. The first Pride was a riot, the Stonewall Riots to be exact, also known as the Stonewall Uprising. This was a series of violent demonstrations that began on June 28, 1969 between LGBTQA plus activists and the police who were raiding the Stonewall Inn, a gay bar in Greenwich Village right here in New York City. Within minutes, a full-blown riot broke out with hundreds of LGBTQ plus people. Though the mystery of who threw the first brick at the Stonewall riots remains unsolved, the prominent figure associated with the riots is Marsha P. Johnson, a transgender black woman. Three, it's really simple. Be respectful and accepting of the LGBTQA plus community. You can't just pick and choose what you're okay with and what you're not okay with in the LGBTQA plus community. It's not a buffet. You can't just pick what you want and ignore what you don't like. You can't support lesbians but be against trans and non-binary people. Four, I think this rule applies every day, but especially at Pride. Recognize that people's pronouns may not correlate with their presented gender expression. Always ask and check what someone's pronouns are and never just assume. Five, if I had makeup there, I'd be a beauty guru. Be mindful of the language you use during pride. As a straight cisgender person, you should never use a slur to refer to someone of the LGBTQAI plus community. But that especially goes for during pride. This may be a bit confusing because many slurs were reclaimed by LGBTQAI plus people, such as queer and dyke. Even if your queer friends use these words, you never have the right to use them. Also, your queer friend cannot give you permission to use a word because your queer friend is not the entire LGBTQAI plus community, okay? Six. Part of being an ally is giving up space. Pride isn't an activity you make a day of to go with your straight best friends to. Unless you all happen to be members of an ally organization that's attending Pride, like PFLAG, Parents, Friends of Lesbians and Gays. The second half applies to queer people as well as straight people, which is stay out of the places you don't belong to, like the Dyke March, the Trans March. Even within the LGBTQA plus community, there's a lot of complex power dynamics. These events are really important opportunities for more marginalized subgroups in our community to feel safe and accepted amongst people they associate with. So if you're not part of that targeted demographic, it's just not a place you should be going to. Seven. Oh, seven. 
Seven. This is not the place for straight men to pick up women and vice versa. Pride is not an event for you to promote your own agenda unless it happens to be a gay one. That being said, don't panic or get upset if someone hits on you. While Pride is more about celebration and visibility and acceptance more than hooking up, it is still a pretty common place for queer and trans people to meet one another, so flirting does happen. Now you straight cis people are the minority at Pride, so getting checked out or hit on by someone of the same gender might happen. So it's something you should be prepared for. Same thing goes for if a trans person approaches you. Eight, don't gawk or appropriate what you see at Pride. Pride is not Halloween or a spectacle for straight cis people's entertainment. It is the celebration of the culture, traditions, and identities of an oppressed community. Pride is a space where it's more acceptable to dress in ways that don't conform to typical gender norms. That being said, don't dress up in an outfit or a costume that appropriates queer or trans culture. There's nothing funny or supportive about a straight guy dressed in drag for laughs and giggles. If you don't have the actual desire to dress that way in your everyday life, don't do it during Pride. Now it is important to validate that there are cisgender people who do genuinely enjoy wearing clothing typically associated with the opposite gender, but those aren't the people I'm talking to. There's a huge difference between a straight cisgender man wearing a dress to Pride who genuinely enjoys wearing feminine clothing in private settings and a straight cisgender man wearing a dress to Pride because he thinks it's funny. The first one's main concern is his safety. The second one's only concern is his own amusement. You don't get the privilege of dressing a certain way at Pride for fun when there are people who dress that way every single day just to feel like themselves and lose their lives for it. Nine, being the fun. Be mindful of who and what you photograph. Pride is meant to be a safe space for queer communities to celebrate who they are despite centuries of prejudice against LGBTQIA plus people. Pride is meant to be a safe space. I'm petting my cat. That being, hi Oscar Wilde. This is Oscar Wilde. Say hi. Pride is meant to be a safe space for queer people to celebrate who they are despite centuries of prejudice against LGBTQAI plus people. That being said, some people in our community may not be out of the closet for safety reasons. Pride might be the only occasion where they don't have to feel anxious about hiding who they are, but that moment can be easily stripped away by the threat of having their photo taken. Use common sense before taking a photograph or posting something online. It's acceptable to take pictures of performers at Pride during the parade, but if if you want to take a picture of an attendee, it's probably best to ask for their permission first. Number 10. Donate to an LGBTQAI plus charity if you can. If you can spend $20 at Drinks at Pride, you can probably put $20 towards helping the community you've been partying with. I'm just saying. So straight cis people, you've gone through this video, abide by these rules, and you are more than welcome to celebrate Pride with us. And for all of my queer babes out there celebrating Pride this year, I hope that you have a great time, a fun time a rainbow time and remember that no matter where you are in your coming out journey this is your month we're celebrating you regardless of what stage of your coming out process you're at and live it up live it loud live it proud to whatever discretion feels comfortable for you happy pride